now I have a little bit of a life update for you. If you have been following me on Instagram, watching my stories, you might already know this, but Look at her little bow. Isn't she so cute? Say hi, Gigi! Say hi! You're my honey bun, sugar plum, pumpy umby umpkin. You're my sweetie pie. You're my cupcake gumdrop, snickums, bookums. You're the apple of my eye. And I love you. So her name is Gigi. She is a mini cockapoo. Isn't she adorable? She just woke up from a nap, so she's a little bit sleepy right now. But she is a mini cockapoo, and she'll grow to be about 15 pounds, so she'll stay pretty small. So basically, a cockapoo means half cocker spaniel, half poodle, and then the dad was a toy poodle, so that's where the mini comes in. So Gigi will be small forever, which is so cute. I love that. So I got a dog because I've literally always wanted a dog. I've known that I've always wanted a dog. And kind of now that I have moved out of my parents' house, I have my own apartment, I have my own place. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get a dog and that's gonna be my little roommate. It can be like pretty lonely if you live alone, if you don't have like a roommate or anything like that. And like, especially with coronavirus, like there's not a lot going on. It's about to be winter, like seasonal depression, everything like that. So it's gonna be so nice to have my little buddy here. I literally cannot stop. Gigi girl. I've given her a couple of nicknames already. So her name is Gigi, but sometimes I'll call her Gigi girl. Also, she like, hops around so much whenever we're playing, like I'll throw a ball or whatever, and she will like hop after it. So I've started calling her Bunny sometimes. I also call her Pumpkin. I don't know, she like, she doesn't know her name yet. So I should probably work on teaching her that her name is Gigi, but <laughs> I just keep calling her a bunch of different things. So she'll have to learn how to respond to all of them. <laughs> we have been working on our potty training. She is learning so quickly, you guys. I got this little green fake grass mat that I am like having her just go to the bathroom on because I live in an apartment building and I'm way up on like, I'm not gonna tell you what floor it is because if you guys find out what my apartment is, then you find out what my apartment is, then you find out what floor I'm on, then there's stalkers on the internet. We're not gonna have all that. But I'm on not the first floor and so I am up there and so if she needs to go to the bathroom i was like oh my goodness i don't know what i'm gonna do and so i got this little grass mat that she goes pee on and it works so well i have had this dog for literally less than a week and she is already pretty much potty trained she always knows that she should go over to that area sometimes she does miss we're working on accuracy we're working on aim um but she is doing so good for literally being eight weeks old so yeah she has only had a couple of accidents um, just in the carpet area, but other than that, she always goes over to that pad area and sometimes she'll pee like a foot away from it or like kind of like be standing on the pad, but then like still miss. But overall, she's doing so good. She's learning so fast, so I'm super proud of her. I don't know how I got so lucky with literally the smartest little puppy girl ever, but she's so precious. So I'm gonna show you guys some of the stuff that I got for her. Look at you. Hi. Guys, I literally am obsessed with her. She is so precious. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys some of the stuff that I got for her. So let's start off with this cute little fake Burberry collar. It came with this matching leash. So I thought this was super cute. I got it on Amazon. And I'll link all the stuff that I got down below. So I got her this cute little doggy bed. This is how it looks with her in it. You like your bed, don't you, baby? You like the bed. Yeah, she likes it. She like does try to chew on it too, but I thought it was super cute. And it's like perfect for her to snuggle up with. I also got this really cute pack of toys. I'm obsessed with it. The reason I literally got it is because of this cow. I thought that this cow was so adorable. It came with like all these little chew toys for her 
I like some squeaky, squeaky ones. Um, and a donut, which I thought was so cute. And then like all these little rope toys. I also got her like mini tennis balls and stuff too. They didn't come with a pack. And then I also got her this little teething uh, bone. It's tiny as you can tell. It was like $2 on Amazon, so super cute and it's pink and yeah. Another thing is, I don't know how I found this out. Like I was trying to brush her face with this toothbrush just because like I hadn't got my brush yet. So I was like, okay, like I'll just use this extra toothbrush I have. And I'm brushing her face and I like set it down and she started like teething on it. So she really likes this toothbrush too. So it kind of doubles as like a face brush and also a teething tool. I don't know, she loves it. <laughs> then I did end up getting this brush. Obviously you need a brush if you're going to make sure your dog does not get like matted and stuff. So I will brush her with it. And then what I really like about this is you push this button and all the hair is like right on the end, ready to go, so easy to clean it, it is so nice. All right, so this is the area next to my bed. Um, I keep all of her dog food right here. These are her pee pads, which as you can tell, we've barely used any of them because she is doing so well with potty training. This is her little food station. I have these cute little foods. They're so fancy. She's eating good. We want Gigi to grow up to be big and strong. So we have steak, filet mignon, beef, and grilled chicken. And then we also have these, which are the Rachel Ray um dog foods so i got those in three different flavors as well just to kind of see what she likes um i got this off of amazon as well just to hold all of her stuff super cute with like the little hearts over here i have her food bowl and i really like this dispenser because you can fill it up with water and then it goes into the bowl and so you don't always have to be changing it and refilling it it refills itself which i love then this is where I keep her extra dry dog food. Right now her teeth are really small and so she isn't really able to chew on the hard food, but I have this for whenever she is able to and it seals right like that. So this is the original area that I got for her to sleep in. Um, I put these pee pads, as you can see, look how freaking good she is. I have not changed these in like literally three days. She does not even pee on them. I am so proud of her, she's so good. But this is adjustable, um, so this could get like way bigger or I could make it way smaller, which I like about that. This is actually gifted to me, so I did not have to pay for it, which was super nice. But yeah, this is her little space. So this is the grass mat that I was telling you guys about. I just have it right by the door. Um, and then I also have this little bell that I will ring kind of as like a reinforcement, like good job you went potty. So anytime that she has to go potty, she will run right over to here. Sometimes she'll go right here. Sometimes she'll go right here. Sometimes she'll go right here. But she's working on it. Like we have the general idea down. So she'll usually go right on this little pad and it works super well. I literally highly recommend this because I've literally had her for less than a week and she goes over to this almost every single time that she is going to go potty. So 10 out of 10, if you live in an apartment or anything like that, this is literally the best thing you could have got. All right, that is all I have for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you wanna stay up to date with what's going on with Gigi. I will link her Instagram in the description below. Yes, I made her an Instagram because of course she is my puppy. So she's gonna have an Instagram. Gigi girl, do you have anything you wanna say to the people of YouTube? Anything? Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys loved meeting Gigi as much as I love her. She's the sweetest girl ever and I am so happy that I have her as my little family now. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye! 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 <laughs>